instead of having your Wii Flow look like this without covers, I'm going to show you how to make it look like this and get covers on your Wii Flow app. We're going to be doing this without internet using Wii Backup Manager. Now my Wii has a wired connection to the internet and it connects, but for some reason Wii Flow, it always says network initialization failed when I try to download covers. I had to find out how to do it without internet. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So getting right into it, uh, if you go to the Wii Backup Manager link in the description, it should take you here and scroll down where it says Wii Backup Manager and click it and it should download in the bottom left as a WinRAR file or it should download in the bottom left as a zip file. Just click on it to load it. Now what I like to do is uh, create a new folder on my desktop and call it Wii Backup Manager and just highlight all of these files and folders and drag them right in. That way it keeps it nice and organized all in one spot. So once you transferred it, just exit out of the zip file and open that up and click on Wii Backup Manager underscore win64.exe. Press yes when it prompts you and it should load Wii Backup Manager. So now before we do this, I'm going to show you what my SD card looks like after my last tutorial on how to get Wii Flow. So on the root, I have a Wii Flow folder and it has all of these folders. I have a WBFS folder with all of my games inside. And then in my apps folder, I have Wii Flow with these files and folders. So make sure yours looks like mine and let's continue. So going into Wii Backup Manager, uh, just select Drive 1, click on where it says Inactive, and then select which one. As you can see, my, um, my SD card is G, so I'm going to click Drive G. And if you, since you have your WBFS folder on it, it should automatically load up your ROMs. So when your games show up, just go into Options, Settings, and then make sure you're you have covers selected. And then we're gonna set it to Wii Flow. Click OK. And then now we're gonna click on Tools, Covers, and click on Sync and Download All. This is gonna download all your covers. So if you go into the Downloads, you should see they're all going. So once the download is finished, just minimize this window, Wii Backup Manager window and go back to where you started up Wii Backup Manager. You should see this covers folder. Click on it, go into Wii Flow, box covers, and you should see the covers for your games here. So keep that folder open and go onto your SD card and go into the Wii Flow folder that's on the root of your SD card. Click on box covers, open it up, highlight all the box covers you downloaded from Wii Backup Manager and just copy them into there. As you can see, they all have their game IDs and this is how it identifies which game to go on to. So that's basically it for the computer. We are ready to head over to the Wii because there's a few things we have to do on there for them to show up. I'll meet you over there. Now I'm doing this over on the Wii U, but you can be doing this on your Wii. It's the exact same process. So I'm gonna head over to the virtual Wii and let's do it. So on your Wii or Virtual Wii menu, just go into the Homebrew channel and start it up. And we're just going to head into Wii Flow. So load Wii Flow up. And as you can see, they currently don't have the covers, so let's go into the settings and change that. So in the settings, just go to the fourth page, I believe, yep, yeah, and click on Path Manager click go click set on box covers and then click the three dots up here we're just gonna make sure it's in the right one so click them again and you should be on the root so let's look for Wii flow folder click Wii flow click on box covers and then this is the right folder so we're gonna click set and then click back and then you should see this screen. It's converting the covers to be usable and let's go check them out when it's ready. So just like that, your Wii Flow looks 10 times better because you can see the games and their covers and everything. 
If you'd like to learn how to change the entire WeFlow app theme, uh, subscribe and keep your eye out for that video. It'll be coming out uh, in the near future. But anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you, and if you ran into any issues, uh, comment below, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, you can also join my Discord, where I also help subscribers there. But anyways, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.